Oh, man, I hate Mondays. Nah, man, it's Tuesday. Wait, 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 what day is it? You know what day it is. Tuesday. Bruise Day Tuesday. Oh, oh, fuck yeah! Oh, we're gonna get our hops on, uh huh. It's Bruise Day Tuesday really? with Drez and Huck. Yeah, I didn't have the mic open for you yet. Oh, I opened it. Oh, well. At least mine got on there a little bit. It's just it, a can. It is Bruise Day Tuesday, and it is a special edition of Bruise Day Tuesday. Although, you know, St. Patty's Day is not falling on a Tuesday. It's on a Friday, which I will yeah. take any day. We're but, like in the middle, so we have to celebrate all week. Yeah, hey, there ain't nothing wrong with that. Shoot, mine started last weekend, yeah, I man. Yeah, the up to Roanoke myself. Yeah, not a bad, uh, not a bad weekend. But this is going to be our St. Patty's Day themed um, Bruce Day Tuesday episode. So I can't wear these glasses. So I was, I was wondering if I'm. It's hurt. It's going to be at least really dark in here for me, but I'll be able to manage, I'm sure. And I must say, I, I got to compliment you on all the decor that you brought with you. Oh yeah, you know, I thought I'd bring. I have a. We keep a basket. We keep a. a tub for every holiday and actually this one's combined with mardi gras, mardi gras. they're so close you might as well right yeah and a lot of greens and both I brought my little friend you know the leprechaun yeah well before we delve into leprechauns and all that good stuff about saint patty's day let's talk a little bit about well the reason why you're here it's because you brought me some saint patty's day themed beer right what are you would yeah, you pour right. in your glass and what'd you hand me well this is a wexford irish style cream ale it's not traditionally you know but it's it's from it's a traditional Irish, Irish recipe from County Wexford that dates back to 1810. And it's a, it's a cream ale, which is a style I actually pretty much like. And so I thought I'd try, you know, last year we did everything else. You know, we did the Guinness. So you can only do, and actually, you know, who knows, maybe some Guinness later on the program. Uh, yeah, it seemed like your cooler didn't look light. No, so I'm not. sure we'll figure out. This is just the first segment, and there may we may have to have extra innings. Yeah, I mean, it is St. Patty's Day. We yeah. might do an extra segment today. I got a funny feeling. Um, so this has actually got the widget in it with the... Oh, yeah? yeah the little ball? Yeah, so it's 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 all nitro. So mm. it's, it's pretty good. I'm liking it. Well, over here... You gave me something that was craft brewed in Ireland. O'Hara's Irish Red. A full-bodied Irish Red with a traditional hop flavor to balance a sweet malt finish. That's I'm right. not going to lie. I am a fan of Irish Reds. I, well, you know, we were talking about doing, you know, one that shall not be named. <laughs> because it's kind of a mainstream beer. And I said, you know what, I bet I can find something better than that. And you did. But uh, 5%, is there really a reason why we can't name it? No, you can name yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I had mentioned we could Showing do Kill, Killians, you know. Yeah, Killians. It, it's it's a it's one you'll see a lot of this Friday, no doubt about. I just think nitro heads are so cool because they're so dense, all the little bubbles in there. Yeah, but um, so uh, so you had a good time in Roanoke. I've never actually been there yeah, for down for the whole Roanoke thing. A parade and Martin's has bands all afternoon, and they, I think Corn Beef has bands all afternoon. And yeah, you want to talk about bands all afternoon? Yeah, no. Shamrock yeah, Fest, Shamrock baby. Fest. Oh my gosh, I think I'm still hungover. Mm. But um, but yeah, a lot of that. I don't even know if I can talk about on the radio what all happened up there this weekend. It was crazy. It happens at Shamrock Fest, stays at Shamrock Fest. You know what? I think you might be right about that, good sir. You might just be right about that. And I'd tell you all about Roanoke, but I don't remember. You know, you start drinking (laughs) Jamisons at 10 a.m. You know, it's just difficult to keep the memory banks working. And and the fun thing is, we still haven't even gotten to the actuality yet. I guess I'll be doing the Blacksburg, whatever's going on there. I'll be at McAdoo's if you okay. want to join me at my BearCast. I might have to come on over. Um, I'm sure that we'll be getting into some shenanigans, without yeah. a doubt. Well, let's uh, let's give her this boring beer and untap it, and then we can move on all to right. the next segment. All right, take the lead, my all good right. sir. Because you're right, we got, uh, we, we, got, got a, we got a big night ahead of a us big, here. Yeah, a big show ahead of us. So I think the county Wexford did a pretty good job. So I'm going to give this guy a four, because it's... Uh, it's really interesting because usually cream ale is very, very creamy and all. And this has got, it's almost Rich like a creamy. half a red, you know? It's oh, like yeah? a little redhead, yeah. Hmm. It does look like, I mm-hmm. mean, it might be my shades, but. No, but I'm getting a little bit of the little bit of that flavor on top of the creaminess. So. Oh, that's good. Very nice. I'm sure that could be a nice little combo. And speaking of the red over here, O'Hara's Irish Red. Uh, you know, we are kind of rushing through these to untap it. I usually wouldn't want to untap it this soon. But, I, I mean, off the first few sips that I've been able to get down, this is one that I could definitely drink this Friday. A few, uh, few of them. In fact, I might just do that. You got any more in that cooler? I think I only brought one of those. I can tell you where you can get one. 
Well, fair enough. But yeah, man, I mean, it's it's what you would want for an Irish red, dude. It's full bodied. It's it's delicious. Great lacing. Obviously, that beautiful Irish red beer coloring to it. I mean, what's not to love? I think it's a four as well. There you go. Starting off with some fours, and we're heading to, for the floor. <laughs> the next go. round of Bruce Day Tuesday. Floor. I think the next uh, thing. I think the next ones we're going to open up are going to be a little bit more potent. I could be wrong. Just yeah, it's going to be different. It's going to be different. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll play a tune. You know, let's play an Irish type tune. Let me give you a little flavor of what I got at Shamrock Fest this weekend. How about there you go, that? Yeah, play something. Out I'll, of there. I'll throw some drop kick at you, and then we'll uh, we'll bust out some more. That'll get me amped and ready for what's coming up next. Uh, Bruce Day Tuesday continues after this. <laughs> 